Hi everyone, this is Daniela from Lango Learning System. Today we will learn about task 2 of the IELTS writing. Agree or disagree essay is one of the most frequent questions in the IELTS writing test. So you must learn how to write them correctly if you want to achieve a high mark, right? Are you ready to learn? Let's get started now. Many candidates have many difficulties in handling this type of question because they have no idea about the appropriate structure for this essay. Let's see the suggested structure for this type of essay. There are three parts, introduction, body and conclusion, with four paragraphs. Paragraph one, introduction, sentence one. State the argument that the essay will address. You can paraphrase the question, sentence two. State the point of view in the matter. Sentence three, briefly summarize what you are going to write about in the body to support your opinion. Paragraph two, the first reason. Sentence one, topic sentence. Introduce your first point. Sentence two, explain your point clearly for the reader to understand. Sentence three, provide a personal or made up example that demonstrates and supports this point. Paragraph 3, the second reason. Sentence 1, topic sentence. Introduce the second point. Sentence 2, explain your point for the reader to understand clearly. Sentence 3, give a personal or made up example that demonstrates and supports this point. Paragraph 4, conclusion. Sentence 1, Rephrase your opinion and recap your two supporting points. Sentence two, make a prediction or a recommendation based on your opinion. That's all. This structure will allow you to concentrate on generating your idea and then doing your essay effectively. Number one, the introduction. To paraphrase the question, we can use synonyms or change word orders. Let's see the question below. In some nations, the increasing number of people are suffering from health problems as a result of overeating fast food. Therefore, the government must impose a higher tax on that kind of food. After paraphrasing, the first sentence of the essay looks like this. It's argued that the government should levy a tariff on junk food because the number of health issues related to consuming this kind of food is on the rise. Let's move on to the thesis statement, in which you can express your opinion that you agree or disagree with the above statements. Here is the thesis statement. This essay agrees or disagrees that fast food companies should pay a higher rate of tax. It's up to you to agree or disagree, but in the example, I prefer agreeing with this statement. Next, we need the outline sentence to briefly state what you are going to write about in the main body paragraphs. In other words, the reasons for your opinion. This is the outline sentence of your essay. Firstly, this essay will explain the fact that alcohol and tobacco companies already pay higher taxes and secondly, discuss how higher taxes could increase prices and lower consumption. Number two, the first reason. This paragraph should include topic sentence, explanation, example. A topic sentence is a summary of your first idea. When the above question, the topic sentence should look like this. Higher excise taxes on liquor and cigarettes has proven to be successful at curbing the harm caused by these substances. To make your reason more persuasive, you need to expand on this point with a little more detail. Assume that the reader has no idea on the subject and you have to give them a clear explanation what you actually mean. Here is what this could look like. This revenue has been applied to treat health problems associated with these products and has been proven to be useful in advertising campaigns 
alerting citizens about the dangers of alcohol and tobacco abuse. Tax from fast food could be used in the same way. After explaining for your reason, it's more impressive to support your point with some examples. These examples are recent news stories, studies or personal experiences. Make one up if you can't think of one. The examiner won't check if it's real or not. If you lack some examples, you will lose your mark. These examples we have for the first reason. For instance, the United Kingdom government use money from smokers to treat lung cancer and heart disease, while at the same time pumps into health campaigns in schools to remind children about the risks of smoking. Number three, the second reason. The same formula will be used in the third paragraph, the topic sentence. Increasing taxes would raise prices and lower consumption. The explanation. Fast food companies would pass on these taxes to consumers in the form of higher prices and this would result in people not being able to afford junk food because it is too expensive. Junk food would soon become a luxury item and it would only be consumed occasionally which would be less harmful to the general public's health. The supporting details. The organic food is an obvious example. It's a cost has proven prohibitively expensive for most people and that is why only a small percentage of the population purchase it frequently. Number four, the conclusion. The proper conclusion for this agree, disagree essay should include sentence one, summary of main points. Sentence two, your opinion. Remember to restate your thesis statements and your main supporting points. The conclusion will look like this. In conclusion, fast food should be taxed at a higher rate because of the good precedence set by alcohol and tobacco and the fact that the raised cost should diminish the amount of junk food people use. That's all for today's lesson. I hope you have found this lesson helpful in preparing for your IELTS test. If you want to sign up for IELTS online courses at Lango, click on the link below. These IELTS courses are designed to cater for individual needs and provide personalized learning pathways. Remember to like, share and subscribe for more videos. See you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.